Welcome to culinary school. You're a terrific cook, but attending your labs in school is more than just showing up and creating good food. You are also required to create a work plan, which is the conglomeration of all the recipes you are to produce, while also doubling as a lab schedule. The basic work plan contains a list of the required tasks, the times at which those tasks will each begin, and is written legibly. The work plan ensures that you work efficiently, stay organized, and complete your tasks on time. Ah, it's a wonderful thing. You can create a work plan using a simple four-step method. Step 1. Mise en place. In the confines of creating a work plan, mise en place simply means your recipes and a computer or notepad to write your plan down onto. Step 2. Read the recipes for timing. Look for how long each step in the recipe is going to take. If your recipe doesn't list how long each step takes to complete, do not panic. You can approach this in several ways. A. Project the time to complete a task based on experience. B. Time each step as your professor demos. C. Time the same or similar steps being done on a YouTube video. While you read your recipes, arrange them in order of priority. Identify their priority level based on the time sensitivity of each recipe. For example, a puff pastry which takes 3 hours is much more time sensitive than a pie filling which takes 10 minutes. Identify pockets of time in each recipe, such as long or short rest periods, for example proofing bread or sweating vegetables. Step 3. Fit the puzzle pieces together. Every recipe is just like a puzzle piece. Does that puzzle you? Every recipe is a puzzle piece. Within it are pockets of time. Every pocket is just like the hole in a puzzle piece. Every active step is the bulge in the puzzle piece. Now that you've timed the steps in your recipes, arranged them by priority, and have identified the time pockets, there's one last factor to consider. Cleanliness. Visualize, if you will, the dishes that accumulate with each step. You will need to factor in time for cleanup. Now, you're ready to write it all down. A basic work plan contains two columns, one for a timestamp and the other for a detailed description of the task. This description you can take straight from the steps as written in the recipes. However, you will find it helpful to create short forms that reduce the verbiage, making your work plan easy to look at at a glance. Ultimately, that will save you time in the lab. Finally, step number four, learn from experience. Take note of how accurate you are in keeping with your time stamps. If you were behind, assess what slowed you down. If you were ahead, learn from that and apply that timing knowledge to subsequent work plans. Congratulations, now you know how to create your very first culinary school work plan.